Hi friends, welcome to my channel. It's been a million years since I've made a video, but today is the day. Today I'm gonna to be showing y'all how I come up with concepts for my art. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process, starting with choosing your reference, brainstorming, analyzing your concept designs, and concept to final design. Okay, get in. Step one, <laughs> gathering references. I like to organize all my references in one sheet. So I'll gather images that fit the vibe and poses that work well and stick them all into a single page so I don't have to constantly switch between references. Now look, I know you want to open Pinterest and infinity scroll, but stop. Instead, try to be as specific as possible when you're looking up your references. Now that you've gathered a million references, it's time to move on to experimentation. Throw on your favorite tunes and get to sketching. What you're gonna notice is that I try so many different poses and compositions before I start the actual drawing. And while we're on the subject, let's talk about composition. When it comes to figuring out good composition, you really want to think about the rule of thirds and the basic elements of composition. The rule of thirds being a guideline that places a subject in the left or right third of an image. Now when it comes to basic elements of composition, you want to think of balance, contrast, motion, focus, pattern, proportion, rhythm, and unity. Now look, I know that was a lot of words, but bear with me. If we condense all of those into three main elements, it would be having a focal point or main focus of the drawing, structure, which pertains to what I talked about earlier, like where things will go in your drawing, aka the rule of thirds. There's also the golden ratio, but I'll talk about that in another video. And then there's balance. Do you want the work to be more symmetrical or asymmetrical? I think a lot about these things when I'm coming up with poses. I don't just kind of sit there and draw magically. Like I do so much thinking, my brain starts to freaking hurt by the end of it. But I also don't want you to get discouraged because even though I think a lot for these drawings, this is mostly just my conceptual work. Most of the time I'm having a great time. Even with my conceptual work, I'm having a great time. Moving on, another thing you want to think about when you're working on a piece is telling a story with your work. What do you want it to convey? What emotions are you showing? Does the piece make you think? Now after soul searching and debating for hours, maybe even crying, you're ready to finalize your sketch. As you can see, I ended up going with the first composition I sketched out. I felt it really told a story and I liked the composition a lot too. I also like to think about posing during my process. Body language says a lot, and if you're going for a full body piece, it's important to think about how a character acts, what's their personality, and going back to what I talked about earlier, what story are you trying to tell? If the character you're drawing is sad, maybe they'll be a bit more hunched over and sullen. If your character is proud, maybe their back will be slightly arched back with arms on their chest. It really depends on what you're trying to convey. For this drawing, I didn't really have a plan, I just knew I wanted to draw Denji, so I did a lot of experimenting. I was thinking a lot about Cat's Cradle and how intricate and cool a design with strings would be, and knowing about Chainsaw Man and what Denji goes through, and how people are always pulling his strings, I decided on this design. I started with the hands, then got to work on the pose. I knew I wanted it to look like he was being pulled by the strings, but I also wanted it to look like he was fighting back a bit. So after I finally decided on a pose, I got to work rendering and coloring, and I'll be doing a tutorial on how I render and color very soon, but for now, let's talk a bit more about the final design. When it comes to finishing a piece, don't be afraid to experiment during the finalization process. Keep an open mind and try new things. Push yourself out of your comfort zone and really just have fun with your drawing. I think a lot of us forget to let loose and have a good time with our work, so just keep that in mind. The rest of the video is me showing you my process for two other pieces I did, and yes, they're Chainsaw Man pieces. Don't say anything about it. Anyways, sit back, maybe grab a snack, and watch my process for the next two pieces. It's basically the same, but I hope you can learn something from watching the time lapses. Thank you so, so much for watching this video, and I hope it helped a little. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you, and I'll see you in the next one, my friends.